My experience while on the drug was absolutely awful. After taking the first dose, I felt emotionally blunted. I had severe sexual issues while on the drug. When I had stopped taking this drug, I still had basically every side effect. Nothing ever really went away, unfortunately. To this day, I still struggle with severe sexual issues that have gotten worse. I have neurological issues. I am not able to feel emotion, I have severe anhedonia. I'm not able to enjoy things like I used to. Hey everyone, my name is Grant. Um, I will be sharing my story with you guys today on how I developed PSSD, which is post SSRI sexual dysfunction. Uh, before I get started, I just want to thank Mark and Eric so much for everything they continue to do throughout our community. Uh, they've just done incredible work and, and they've saved so many lives. Um, uh, and I'm grateful to them for that and, and, and allowing me to share my story on their platform today. My life before taking this drug was absolutely amazing. Uh, I loved every single moment. Um, I loved spending time with my family. Uh, I loved running my business, loved going to the gym and lifting. Um, and I still do all these things. I'm just not able to enjoy them. Um, and I also had just graduated college before taking this drug. I had started taking this drug. Um, the name of the drug is Lexapro. Um, I took it in July of 2022, and I stopped taking it in, in in August of 2022. I took it for just about a month. So the drug was prescribed to me by my pediatrician at the time. Um, I was given this drug um, at the lowest dose. Um, it was prescribed to me for some anxiety I was having for the first time in my life and trouble sleeping. My experience while on the drug was absolutely awful. After taking the first dose, I felt emotionally blunted. Um, I was never warned of this symptom um, whatsoever. And I would have never taken the drug had I known this was a symptom. Um, so I felt emotionally blunted while on the drug. I had severe sexual issues while on the drug, which I wasn't warned of either. And I felt extremely lethargic while taking the drug, which I was not warned of. When I had stopped taking this drug, I still had basically every side effect, um, even when I had discontinued the drug compared to when I was on the drug. So um, nothing ever really went away, unfortunately. Um, to this day, I still struggle with severe sexual issues that have gotten worse, um, I believe. Um, I have genital numbness. I have no libido whatsoever, which uh, is which is the complete opposite compared to when um, before I had taken this drug, I had a very high libido. Um, neurologically, um, I have neurological issues. I am not able to feel emotion. Um, I'm incapable of feeling love for other people. Um, I have severe anhedonia. I'm not able to enjoy things like I used to. And these are by far the two worst symptoms are, in my opinion, are anhedonia and um, not being able to feel emotion. I've seen a couple doctors um, after I have developed this condition. Um, I had first went to go see a urologist about a month after developing it um, back in September of 2022 it was just about a month after I had discontinued the drug. Um, the urologist had told me uh, to wait a little bit longer to see what happens because it, sometimes these these uh, side effects can take a little bit longer to go away. And now about two years later, I have not seen a single improvement at all. Uh, and then I had also gone to see a neurologist. Um, I had seen the neurologist um, to, to do a bunch of tests. I had done an MRI, um, an EEG. Um, I've done a couple other tests that I can't remember the name of. And um, every single test came back negative. PSSD has truly impacted my life um, in a very negative way. Um, the first 
the thing that I can think of being relationships. Uh, just not being able to connect with the people you love so much that you've spent so much time with. Um, it's just truly like devastating. Uh, not being able to feel love for the people that you that you know you love them so much, but you just can't feel love for them. It's just extremely difficult. Um, not being able to enjoy spending time with people you love, not being able to enjoy just doing regular things you used to love doing. Um, is ex it's just so, so unbelievably difficult to explain to somebody who's never dealt with this before. Um, you know, I used to love to run my business. I still do that, even though I'm not able to enjoy it. I'm not able to enjoy lifting. Um, but I still do that. I still do everything, everything every day that I normally would, even though I don't, or I'm not able to enjoy it.